That is one good green bean. Don't you wish your children would eat beans like that? Hello everyone. I keep a lot of albino and citrus and breeding them is always a lot of fun and they're they're a fun item to always take to the auctions. And a lot of people know and, and that they really like green beans. You got to cook them pretty good. And I know people that buy the canned green beans. And I tried that and, and I bought a brand name of, of canned green beans at the store. Paid over a dollar for the can. And when I brought them home, I... Um, you know, opened up the can, drained off the water, and was immediately struck by two things. First thing was, I had less than half a can of green beans. That was really disappointing, because it wasn't a big can to start with. And I had less than a can. Uh, they ate them, but they were all, not only was it less than half a can, but they were all tiny little torn up, mushed, I don't know, they, they weren't what I remember as being green beans when I was growing up. These were all, this was French cut, just decimated green beans. Just little pieces of stuff. And I, I thought, you know, I know they're eating it, but th this can't be good. So, I've been doing this since then, is, is at the grocery store or farmer's market, I've been buying these big old beautiful green beans. These are fresh beans out of some farm in South Florida. Just gorgeous. And this is a whole lot more like what I would want to be feeding to my fish. I think the fish ought to get food that's as good as what you or I would eat because I expect the fish to do a lot. I want them to be healthy, I want them to grow, I want them to breed. I want them to be nice, good fish I can be proud to say are mine. And I just can't do that with a can full of mush. So I bought myself this little, I don't know, three quarters of a pound, half a pound of beans. I'm going to put them in this pan of water. And these will go on the stove. On a, I'll bring it to a boil and then I'll let it simmer after that. And they'll probably cook for two, three hours to get nice and, and tasty and soft for the for my fish. And then I'll have then what you do is you freeze them. Well, I'll show you how to do it the easy way to freeze them so you can feed them. But we're gonna get these on the stove and get them cooking. We'll put a cover on it to help hold the heat in, uh, and we'll get these started. So we'll be back for the ending of this in a couple of hours. We've been cooking these beans for about three and a half hours on low cover. And I know they're done, so I'm going to take them out, spread them out here. And what you want to do is you want to freeze them dry. Uh, I like to lay them out in, in, these will fit in a quart bag pretty good. Lay them out pretty much flat and freeze them dry. Don't have a lot of water in there with them. And what you'll end up with is, is they'll be slightly stuck together, but mostly you'll have nice long beans frozen that you can separate from the others and you'll have beans that you can you know you need two beans or four beans whatever you can pick them across pretty easily so let's take a look here and see how you how do you know when they're done other than to be cooking forever but the easiest way oh they're still hot I'm gonna try and grab a big one but I have found they'll eat them a lot better if you'll split now see, they've got a little seam, and, it, and that's just how easy they'll split. When they split like that, they're done. And this gives you a nice piece that you can put right in to your tank. Break it in half if you want, but 
like this they'll be on it in just a couple of moments we're gonna let these cool a little bit and then we'll try feeding them to the fish all right these have cooled down some this is the two pieces that I the one that I split so I'm gonna set it aside because we're going to use it to feed the fish tonight and now what I'm going to do is oh they're still hot on the bottom slide them in Spread them out. And then when they freeze, you'll be able to break these off pretty individually. Makes it very easy. You don't have to thaw a bunch out and damage anything. You just break off the couple that you need. And put the rest back in the freezer and they'll thaw out enough to feed in just a couple of minutes. So, these are headed to the freezer, and I'll have nice beans for my ancestress ready to go. And we'll take this couple here downstairs, and we'll try them out with a fish. Alright, as long as I've got them split, as you can see, I pull the beans out, because I don't think they eat the beans. They may, but I don't think so. So, I'm going to drop these in. Nice thing about cooking them for a couple hours is they sink. And as you can see, it doesn't take them long to start, start finding it. Uh, give them another 10-15 minutes, I'll have 20 or 30 of them sp spread out over the two beams makes a good food doesn't seem to foul the water and they seem to eat it pretty completely with the bigger ancestors and you can see the big old thorny guy and and a female back there with working it over there it is and well he seems to want to get in the way and protect it so the adults are go for the beans also so whether you're feeding little babies or you're feeding the big breeder adults, they all go for those beans. There's a couple of them coming over. She's doing a pretty good job of hoarding that thing. They'll push her out of the way in a minute. So put some green beans on the menu of your ancestors. They'll thank you for it. 